prognosis is excellent. A few years later, he's doing well. In fact, he's walking across the province. A gesture of thanks, a great big thank you, in fact, to the donor family. He's on the line with us now. George, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Now, you're walking across the country as part of the Step-by-Step -Step Organ Transplant Association. Well, actually, this year it's the province. Next year it'll be the country. Oh, sorry, the province. That's, That's what I meant. okay. So, yeah. I'm still thinking about Weibo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard all that conversation. Uh, yes, I'm um, uh, doing uh, around the Ontario uh, walk, which is quite large. It's actually been about one-third of the Canada walk. I presently uh, walked uh, almost 2,100 kilometers, and by the time I finish in Toronto on September 30th, I'll probably have about over, just over 2,300 kilometers. I guess your message is, is rather simple, that transplantation is a cure. You get your life back, you get a healthy life back as well. Yes, you absolutely get uh, your healthy life back. And I'm, you know, doing this walk, uh, I'm showing a lot of Canadians that, uh, you know, first of all, transplants do work, and I'm not the exception. There's many, many, many recipients that uh, are experiencing, uh, uh, you know, similar uh, uh, prognosis uh, with getting their, not only their life back, but their healthy life back. Well, listen, thanks for joining us today, George Marcello. Uh, before August 1995, I mean, you were unsure about what the future held, but now it looks like you're on the road to recovery. I mean, you are recovered, and uh, you're living a healthy life today. Thank you. Well, we're hoping to get this message out to as many Canadians because uh, we do need people to know about this, and we do need the, the rate of uh, organ donations to go up and have uh, more Canadians enjoy a more healthier lifestyle. And the message is simple. Sign your donor cards. Transplantations a cure. It's 426. This is the world today. I'm Derek Oliver. Time for sports now. One, Rusty Thompson joins us. And Rusty. George Marcello headed off on foot almost three months ago. But unlike most people who take their cause to the street, he's not looking for money. He's after awareness, letting people know how important it is to consider a difficult subject, organ donation. It wasn't on George's mind seven years ago when he was a student at Conestoga College medical checkup revealed a life-threatening liver disease. When you get this kind of news, it doesn't feel real. That's why George hit the road on a 2,000 kilometer journey around Ontario to say thanks for his liver transplant and work toward changing laws he takes in a very personal way. And one of them is, so I'm trying to uh, also address to uh, bring a national registry to this country, which is uh, far long overdue. George knows it's a tough sell to people of this age, but he is turning some heads, including that of Steve Coleman, a Conestoga student who's taken up the challenge to improve donor card awareness. I did not know that yeah, your family's had to say that you were allowed to have your organs donated. I thought you just signed the card and that was it. A serious message easily lost on people of this age, hearing it firsthand helps. It's not something that we think about and uh, certainly not address. It raises issues, I guess, toward our everyday health and what we might be thinking about uh, in the future. What's your attitude toward getting a donor card after hearing George? Uh, seriously think about it. I do realize the issues are in today's society, so it's a good idea to, um, to think about it and sign the back of your card. Along the way, George has made a point of meeting senior civic officials like Kitchener Mayor Carl Zayer, himself a supporter of the donor program. He's also welcomed by people who work on the front lines of donor issues. Unfortunately, with the budget cuts and things, it's hard to get the message out there, but word of mouth is the best way. And by having George do things like this, it certainly makes things much easier for everyone. There's still a week of walking ahead, but it leads George to the Ontario Legislature and a planned meeting with Premier Harris, an effort that makes George Marcello this week's local hero. I'm Jim Alexander.